Hello friends, I thought today would be a good day to discuss the turkey tail mushroom and some of its look-alikes. Uh, these are all fan-shaped decomposers. They can be found in clusters of hundreds and even thousands on a single uh, dead tree or log. Uh, they have uh, bands of color, which is sometimes quite beautiful. They do kind of, uh, the colors fade over time as they get older. Uh, but they are easy to identify if you know what you look for. The turkey tail mushroom is a sought after medicinal mushroom. It might have the ability to uncloak or demask cancer cells so that your body's uh, defenses, killer cells and T cells can uh, dispose of them. So that's exciting and interesting stuff. Um, if you have access to a deciduous forest almost anywhere in the world, you can find the turkey tail mushroom. It grows on 70 different types of wood. I've seen it growing on grapevines. Uh, you can find these mushrooms uh, any time of the year, but the primary growing season for the turkey tail is May to December, and seeing as it is the end of the year, uh, now might be a good time to stock up. So let's uh, look at the turkey tail up close now. So here they are up close. Uh, you can see those distinctive bands of color. They can be gray, orange, brown, purple, blue, uh, cream and even green if there's algae involved. Uh, they have this fan shape on top. They can kind of be in rosettes a little bit. Um, but the key to identifying this is looking at the pore surface. So let's look at the underside. Okay, so I turned the log upside down so you can see the underneath. Uh, the outer edge and underneath of this mushroom will be white to cream to tan. Over time it gets darker. Um, it is scientifically named Tremides versicolor, meaning multicolored fabric. It is kind of soft and velvety on top and then kind of thin and woody and tough. Um, the key feature though to identify these are the pores. There should be five to eight per millimeter. These teeny tiny pores barely visible uh, to the eye. There are a couple other less common Tremides species that have one to three pores per millimeter. So if you see pores uh, much larger than this, you probably do not have turkey tail. Um, but that's it. Let's go see if we can find some more. All right. Look at these mushrooms. Are those turkey tail mushrooms? They sure do look like them. But in fact, they are false turkey tail mushrooms. Sterium austria. Uh, austria refers to clam shape or oyster shape, kind of like with the Pinellas austriatus, the oyster mushroom. Um, you can see that on the underside, there's no visible pore surface. And you can see the bands of color kind of through the underside. This is actually not a polypore mushroom like the turkey tail. This is a kind of crust fungus. But you can see how people can get them confused. Uh, this is very easy to find in the woods. Maybe even more so than the turkey tail. But it's a really cool mushroom. It's often uh, kind of curly. More so than the turkey tail. Uh, kind of curls up like this. And usually the fans aren't quite as wide as turkey tail, although these are pretty wide. Um, so they can be more of a 90 degree fan than say a 180 like the turkey tail. So yeah, there's that one. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is a large tree. Covered by thousands of mushrooms. Hmm. Those do look a little bit like turkey tails. Are these turkey tails? <laughs> 
Well, that's some bands of color. It's kind of faded a little bit though. Um, oh, the underside is purple. And it seems to have little teeth. That is not a turkey tail. That is trichaptum biformi. The violet toothed polypore, it's actually not a polypore mushroom, not in the family polyporaceae. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is also very common in the woods. Uh, it grows on more than 65 kinds of wood. And you'll just know it if it's purple underneath and has little teeth. Uh, the purple can kind of fade with time and sometimes it's just on the outer margin of the underside and a little bit on top. But that's how you tell that this is the violet tooth polypore and not the turkey tail mushroom. All right, let's see what else we can find. Okay. Well, this certainly looks a lot like turkey tail. Definitely has those bands of color and the fan shape. Is it turkey tail? Well, this sure does look like a turkey tail mushroom. That is until you turn it over and see that it has gills. This is the gilled polypore mushroom, uh, Tremetes betulina. It is a polypore mushroom that independently developed gills. That's pretty amazing. Um, it is in the Tremetes genus with the turkey tail. Uh, it does have some medicinal properties that they are looking at, antimicrobial. Uh, anti-tumor, possible immune suppression abilities, um, but a super cool mushroom. Uh, really happy to have found this. Uh, a little more rare, it took me a couple days to find this one, only took me uh, about uh, 20 or 30 minutes to find those other ones. But there you have it, turkey tail mushroom and three common lookalikes. Let's uh, bring this video home. Regarding the uh, medicinal properties of the turkey tail mushroom or any other mushroom for that matter, I think it's wise to stay skeptical. Um, there's just not a lot of research. We don't know a lot about mushrooms, really. They've only existed taxonomically speaking since 1969. There are video games older than the kingdom fungi. Before that, they were classified as plants. Um, so yeah, we don't have a lot of research and the research that has been done is an isolated compound from the mushroom tested in a Petri dish or on an animal model, very rarely uh, in human trials. And uh, in those human trials, it's an isolated compound um, that's how they do science, one variable at a time. So there's very little research on how just eating a uh, mushroom or drinking mushroom tea or taking a tincture would affect a person over time. Uh, that being said, there's a lot of promising research on the turkey tail. Um, it could boost your cognitive abilities, your immune function, regulate your blood sugar, help you recover from exercise, help you recover from cancer, chemotherapy, maybe prevent tumors and more to boot, so that's all very exciting. I'll leave it up to you and your doctor, healthcare professional, if you wanna incorporate turkey tails in your life. Um, if you are going to collect mushrooms for eating or taking as medicine out in the wild, I suggest you do that from uncontaminated areas as mushrooms are known to bioaccumulate toxins and heavy metals. And make sure the specimens are fresh as older mushrooms can harbor harmful bacteria and insects and other funguses that you don't want. Uh, I would say with the turkey tail, best to dehydrate it right away and grind it into powder or keep them in the freezer. If you just keep them in the cupboard or you know on your shelf, the little tiny beetles are likely to hatch out and eat the fertile surface of the mushroom. Uh, that also happens with waster mushrooms a lot. But that was a lot of information. I try to keep these videos as short as possible. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that, got something out of it, and I'll see you next time on Mushroom Journeys.